In this video traders, we're gonna look at how you construct a portfolio in Finviz, which is a good way of displaying how stocks have performed if you're not quite into looking at charts. Hey traders, warm welcome to you. So Finviz has a really great way of being able to put um, stocks into a portfolio so you can see how they've performed. Now many of us will look at charts, many of us will kind of review charts and you, you, you make, an, make an assessment on it, do some analysis, do some technical analysis, all that kind of stuff. But very often, you know, some of the opportunities come when we're comparing different stocks that are similar, might have to be in the same sector, they have to be in the same industry, but similar are kind of favorite stocks or groups of baskets of tech stocks or retail stocks or whatever it may be. And you want to see how they've performed over time against each other. A really good way of doing this is using a portfolio because the alternative is you either overlay on a chart, which I sometimes find gets a little bit clunky. I sometimes find I can't visually see it. Whereas sometimes if I'm looking at the pure numbers and I can stick things in, I can see, hey, it's outperformed by three times since I put it in, it's about the same. Then it, it smooths off all of the kind of spikes and troughs and just puts it in a way that actually funds would be looking at it. Funds don't care about the price on the chart as much. All they care about is the spreadsheet they've got that shows them their portfolio, the value of the holdings, the value of their clients' holdings, and how each stock has performed in that portfolio, whether they're going to shove it out the door, whether they're going to accumulate more, whether they're going to replace it, whatever. So if we can kind of replicate that for baskets of stocks that we like to watch, then we may be able to kind of get put ourselves in the shoes a little bit more of these fund managers all right so uh if we look at this is an example i've had here for a, a while internet stocks you can see i put a basket of stuff in and i can now see what the highest gainer is um i can see what the, the poorly performing ones are and that kind of stuff but let's have a look how we would do it from scratch so what we would do is go to the portfolio section of finviz fi and let me bring it in so you can see actually finviz.com and this is what I would do so you can sign up as a free account this you would correct go into the portfolio tab here I'll click it um, you would create new create a new portfolio and here you put in your tickers so let's say we're gonna put in some of the big guys like Amazon uh, we're gonna put in uh, Tesla we're gonna put in uh, Twitter, we're gonna put in Facebook, we're gonna put in Snapchat, we're gonna put in, uh, let's just put one more Netflix in here. Uh, let's give Google a bit of love as well. So I've just literally off the top of my head. And the good thing about what you can do here is you can, um, once you've put your ticker codes in, you can then recalculate equally weighted 100k portfolio look and then it comes up with a, with a thing and it automatically will stick in 100k worth so it's very good to see how things have performed relative to how much you'd have in so if a fund had 20 million you'd have 20 million of it and perhaps they'd have it equally distributed so you can see really cleanly how things have performed you don't look at it and say well that's performed that's made 100 grand well actually you put in you know 200 grand you, you get the point so now we've got that we've got our portfolio we can click save changes i actually have to put a portfolio name in here so i could put in um uh tech stocks port folio hit enter save my changes and i'm away so now i've got an equal amount of of shares in here I've got an equal number total value hundred thousand hundred thousand dollars and now I can check that over time I can look in every week I can look in every month and I can see hey how has Amazon done compared to Tesla compared to Twitter compared to Facebook yes I can visually see the charts as well which is a nice feature but I get to see the percentage gain I get to see the dollar gain I get to see how each of them has reacted to each other now this may not be the group that you want to do I mean Amazon and Tesla are two and two 
distinct different different things or it may be that you do want to do that it may just be one of you want to put kind of hedge fund darling stocks in there you may want to correlate correlate them into groups like retail or social media or internet or security or oil or mining whatever so it's up to you that's the beauty of it of course being free you can mess around it and do what you like but it's just a nice visual thing to do so i can look here hey here's some of the Fang stocks from a long time ago, headed up 63%. Okay, how are my um, online game stocks doing? Online game stocks up 300%, boosted by a few good ones. Uh, and you can just start to see then a little bit more clearly, a bit more visually, uh, how potentially people would position, especially when you come into the end of the year, guys. It comes to the end of the year, if you can imagine a portfolio of stocks you can even go and see what some of the holdings are of some of the hedge funds or some of the mutual funds etc put them in and see you know what would you see if you were a fund manager oh i would seen this underperforming i'm seeing this not doing so well uh, will that then be seen by everybody who's got it and it will get dumped what's the news around it so you can start to you know game theory a little bit combine with your analysis your fundamentals your technicals but using this nice little tool that allows you to keep them in a real central place i know we're not revolutionary having a a uh, portfolio like this but it's nice to have them in a central place you can flick through and see what's going on without actually having to flick through loads and loads of charts especially if you've got a, a big batch on as well all right guys that is finviz portfolio how to construct a portfolio and monitor it see you in the next one take care bye bye